Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at the UK's energy mix. Energy use in the UK. When there was less research into resources and technology available to obtain them, the UK relied more on primary energy. They mainly used coal, crude oil and natural gas because these were the easiest to extract, the cheapest to extract and they provided a lot more energy than perhaps burning fuel wood would. Now the UK though uses more secondary energy and this is mainly because it's more efficient and there are pollution restrictions which inhibit the use of coal and oil. Changes in the UK's energy mix. Here we have the UK's energy mix in 1968. If you don't quite understand what this is meant to show, be sure to check out the last video where we explained energy mixes. As we can see, in 1968, only primary energy was used and there were no reliance on any renewable resources. However, in 2008, with more technological research, more energy resources are being used in order to power the UK. The primary energy resources are now used in the form of secondary energy. So we don't use much oil anymore, but now we use more petroleum. More reliance is on renewables as we now have a shorter section of renewable energy. It's far too little compared to what you know, we should be using. However, it's still something. And also we now use nuclear energy. So as we can see, there's quite a difference between the energy mix in 2008 and 1968. In a question, you may be asked to compare the two of them. It may possibly be a three marker. And what you should probably do is just compare one set of data to another. You could say crude oil has perhaps increased massively in size since crude oil was barely used in 1968. However, now it's used quite a lot in 2008. Coal has decreased a fair bit. And you could probably comment on something like now we use renewable energy. However, in 1968, we did not. Stats. The UK now imports more energy resources than it exports. In 2020, 20% of the country's electricity should be reduced from renewable resources. In 2020, dependence on coal should also decrease to less than 5%. Also in 2020, dependence on oil and natural gas should decrease massively. And finally, the dependence on nuclear energy should increase by at least 2% by the time we reach 2020. Here you have some questions on the UK's energy mix. Have a go at pausing the video to answer these on another sheet of paper and hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on renewable energy. As always, be sure to comment below if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Visit www.revisealevel.co.uk for more information on all of your A-level subjects. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.